Um, what are the essential skills required to start a record company or a business in general? That's from one Simo. Well, you need to set up a company, you know, uh, because you need to comply with uh, some of the, the, the business laws, mm. the business bylaws, you know. And with setting up a record company, you don't need specific equipment, you know. You just need to do, to operate um, within the confines of a, of, of a record company. Mm. Therefore, you can't set up a record company and then go sell furniture. <laughs> you know what I mean? True story. Yeah. So you, you also have to decide, as a record company, are you releasing artists or are you managing artists? You know, um, discern the difference there and then take it from there. All right, yeah. good one. Uh, one more. I hope that answers your question for you. Um, from Willem, when did you start believing? I started believing when I was 14, you know, because that's when I actually realized that perhaps I could do this for a living. You know, wow, um, that's a young age. Yeah, I started music when I was 10, and I started producing when I was 14. I started DJing when I was 18. I got into the music industry professionally when I was 20, and the rest is history. And I'm 31 now. Ah, <laughs> beautiful. You see, anyone can make a dream. You know, your dreams are there. You can make it happen. From Sexy Texie, how do you get through the hard times? Because we know this industry, you know, it's wishy-washy. Yeah. It's all over the place. Sometimes you're working super hard yeah. and not at all. What, how, what do you do to make sure that you're okay with everything? I'm very strong-willed, <clears throat> and that's why my company is called Will of Steel Productions, because nice. my will to succeed is made of steel, you know, and yeah, man. And also, when I'm in studio, I block everything out, so I'm able to actually just focus on or block everything mm. out and just sit in the studio and, and do what it's, you like, need it's like a cocoon. Even if I do nothing, you know, that's how I actually just block everything out. I think that's the key to most people is that it's so hard, especially with work like this, is that it's so easy to get your personal life and all of the other issues in and around yeah. you to affect you and you actually just need to switch off. Yeah. And people who are affecting you personally don't understand how you can just do that, but you gotta. You yeah. know, this is your career, this is your success journey. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. Ah, nice one. From Rob. So, DJ Cleo, where to from here? And where do you want your success to take you? Uh, from here, it's all the way to the top. And I, that's pretty much where I want my success to take me, you know. And like I said, this is part of my success journey. So, I'm still just rolling the ball, rolling the dice and rolling with the ball on my way to the top. Oh, that's beautiful. Against gravity. Ah, there we <laughs> Against <laughs> gravity. Um, Willem wanted to know who your mentor was, but we did mention this earlier on, yeah. but just recap so that in case he missed it. Well, three people, Ashifa Shaba, DJ Fresh, and uh, Lance, Lance Stur. Lance yeah. Stur. Yeah, from Get Rough. There we go. I yeah. was going to say, for those who don't even know who Lance Stur is, at least you now know, he's from Get Rough. Um, from Latif, Far B, DJ Cleo, how do you dress for success? Wow. Ah, I'm going again. <laughs> That's dressed. a good one. That's a good one. How do you dress for success? Wow, I'm not quite sure if I understand the question, but um, for success, dress successful. You know what I mean? <laughs> Inspire yourself to be successful. You know what I mean? Dress successful. You know, don't, don't dress unsuccessful and expect to remember there's a relationship between the mouth and the ear yes you know what i mean um what you say your ear hears mm. you know so if you say i'm poor then automatically your mind conditions itself that yes you are poor mm. and you'll have poor thoughts yes you know what i mean so even how you look what your eyes see is your mind your also mind. you know um interprets into into a conclusion of sorts. So and, and that goes back to the very first tip that we gave you about how you need to think positively about yeah. things and not think negatively and not be surrounded by negative people or negative environments. If you think rich, then you will be rich. It may not be monetary wise, but you yeah. will feel rich and mm. people around you will feel your richness as well. Fantastic. One Simo, does one have to study sound engineering in order to become a good DJ like you? Well, DJs play music. Sound engineers, engineer music. <laughs> Musicians make music. Yeah. You know, so um, not really, but it would come in handy. But you don't really have to study sound engineering to be a DJ. Do you think that one should go to a DJ course then if they don't know how to DJ themselves or teach themselves? You can get taught. Musicians are born, mm. but producers and DJs can be manufactured. Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right. From Debbie, what do you love about what you do in your life? I love everything, man. I get to be on TV for free. <laughs> Sometimes I get paid to be on TV, you know? I mean... You get to travel, I'm, yeah, meet I, new people. I'm off to Cape Town after this, you know? I'm just traveling, meet new people, and I travel for free. <sighs> All life. over the world, for free. I think In I'm going to I get paid over. to travel. 
That's cool. Do you think I could be a DJ? Yeah, you've, you've got a brand already, you so hesitated. it'll be easy to... <laughs> you hesitated. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just actually going to move on because you hesitated. Um, Christoph wants to know, being famous comes with good and bad. What's yeah. your point of view on being famous and how does it affect you? If I could switch my fame on and off, mm. I'd keep it off. Really? Yeah, and then switch it on um, when I need it, you know. Um, when do you feel you need it, though? When I got stopped by traffic cops. Ish, he has him up. I'm a popo. Uh -uh. You know, but um, yeah, um, fame is good, you know, but it's also got its bad things because uh, people just feel that they own you. Yes. Forgetting that you're a normal person just mm. like them. What irritates them irritates you too. Exactly. You know, but um, I've learned figure. to sort of, yeah, I've learned to sort of balance it out, you know, but sometimes when you need to call someone to order, I do it quickly. No, well, you have to. And swiftly. No, you have to yeah. because people need to understand that even though you are famous, there is that level of, I'm still human. Just and like I you. have bad days, yeah. and I have good days. Yeah. It's, uh, Let's respect each other. Exactly, yeah. you know, I completely understand that. Um, from Latifa, no, from, where am I going? From Latifa, do you have a girlfriend? Of course I do. Uh, <laughs> as if we're meant to know. <laughs> no, I do, I do. Well, yeah. congratulations to your girlfriend for bagging such a good guy. Well, actually, I'm a lucky guy. Oh, really? To have bagged her. Well, there we go. Yeah. It must be hard, though, being in the limelight and, you know, um, getting into relationships with people. I mean, is your girlfriend within the industry or is she not within the industry? No, she's not. And um, she's so understanding, you mm -hmm. know. Um, <sighs> fame can take its toll on relationships. Yes. You know, traveling can take its toll on relationships. But I've managed to find that balance, you know, and which is very key because also she just helps me go through a lot of hardships that I face in the industry, you know. And yeah, she's, she's, 